welcome to the Craze Cast, the podcast run by the fans for the fans that brings close to the action. My name is Roxy, and today I'm joined by my fellow host, Jay. Hello. And our podcast editor, Robin. Hello. Hello. To keep up with all our content, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Craze Mag and YouTube, The Craze. And if you're watching this on YouTube, before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch our next episode and hit that bell for notifications for when we upload new videos. Oh, speaking of like things that were going around, um, AOA, the, the, the bullying stuff oh yeah with mina and jimin that was was insane that was also crazy like because like i do think jimin is the kind of person that would do that um she gives off the vibes but then the way that like mina handled it was not good either like there was just too much i think there was a lot of spiraling out that happened and i mean when you are going through a trauma it happens but like to witness it was wild I think somebody it. should have taken social media away from her, to be honest. Like, mm-hmm. just for her own peace of mind. I was just like, whoa. Yeah. That shit's crazy. It's, and I think she, I think Jimin just made a solo comeback too recently. Did she actually? Yeah. Because I think the industry? general consensus was yeah, that, she's like, back she's in the guilty. Industry because, like, it was, uh like, deemed that everything was false. Was it? Who knows? I feel like there's some truth to every lie. <laughs> so maybe like some of the allegations, like I'm not trying, like I don't want a victim blame, obviously. Like, let me put that out there. But I feel like there's always some truth to some lie. So if it was a lie, there had to be been some truth behind it. There's maybe no one it that's wasn't 100% as- correct. Exactly. Maybe it wasn't as severe, but maybe stuff did happen like she said it was. Yeah. Yeah. You never, like that's the thing about being a fan. You don't know. Yeah. You can only speculate. Uh have either of you watched that that drama The Glory? No. No, but I've heard of it. So I started watching this because I was intrigued. I heard that it's basically it's a revenge story um about a girl who gets severely bullied, like in high school, and then goes on and they're like 35 now and she starts enacting all this revenge on these people that hurt her. But they show this, there's this one particular scene that I think they use to highlight like how bad bullying is in Korean schools where she gets burned with a curling iron. Like these bullies take a curling iron to her arm and give her oh, permanent burns. I've seen burns. that clip. I've seen that clip, yeah. Yeah, and um, some people have said it is based on a true story. I don't know if that's honest or not. Like, I don't know how true that is, but it like it's supposed to highlight that like bullying in korea is not the same as bullying in the united states right necessarily it's more severe so i feel i also feel like with bullying in the states especially recently it's more online yeah it is like in person whereas in right. korea it's both yeah 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 so it's just like i think that's why some people flip out about the the bullying allegations because mm-hmm. Yeah, they're children, but, like, if they're burning people with curling irons, like, I don't want them to be idols either. You know what I mean? Right. But, again, there's no guaranteeing that it's that severe. Maybe they're just, they were just little assholes. I don't know. Some kids are just assholes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of like, like... for me, the way how it is, is, like, I think, was it, both of you brought up, it's just, like, if, or maybe it was Roxy that brought it up earlier, where, um, kind of like if something comes out people just go along with it and it's the whole um innocent until proven guilty that is not a concept no no in k-pop that is not a concept at all um to like a lot of people they're like yes but at the same time no they run with it um i don't think people realize it's not a black and white thing so like in the example of jimin Maybe she was mean, okay? Maybe she was being a mean girl and did inflict this trauma on Mina. That doesn't mean that she caused Mina to, like, try to take her own life. There's other factors, too. Right. So, like, you can't blame it all on her, but at the same time, she did bad. Like, it's a grayscale. Right. So you can't heavily punish a person just because, like, they did a little bit, something a little bad. 
I don't know. I think it's... people jump the gun too fast. Yeah. And I mean, another one who we haven't even talked about in this lawsuit a lot. We do not name him because he was part of a big band. Hmm. And it was just like, we know bad shit happened. He's associated with bad shit. Are you talking about Burning Sun? It is that one, right? That yes. some reason a part of? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah he's like, like the figurehead of it. He was the main one in that situation. Yeah. And it's just like, yee. <laughs> like, that's not good, you know? Mm. And, like, obviously there's things, like, there is, there has to be something that has come about it. So it's just like, if it was nothing, they would have already found something. Wouldn't they? I don't know. Because, like, you also, like, look at, like, the whole Gotham thing from La Seraphim. Mm. Because, like, literally, what? What was it? A week after they debuted? They came yeah, out? it literally. was, like, immediate. So it's like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like if they got wrongfully, like, wrongfully accused of something and the company kicks them out, they should be able to follow that lawsuit. Not only against the person that made the rumor, but also the also the company, because that's a breach of contract. So, mm-hmm. Right. No, I agree. But if they uh, have done scummy shit, yes. Duh. Like, it's like, yes, if they have done scummy shit and it's actually true, then bring it to light. But like, dude, if you just want to make someone's life hell, <laughs> and people yeah. do do that, a girl from Wanho, a girl with Wanho, if you just want to make someone's life hell, and see, that was the thing that was what pissed me off too is that it's so well known that this bitch makes things up to ruin people's lives, and but she still... did it with other idols before him, right? Yeah, she like freaking top almost died. Hanbin, B. Hanbin, I was really mad about that one too. Although he said that he did go searching for drugs or whatever but he admitted to some of the things that he did did. right so it's just like he's like yeah i did it and it's like the fact that yg kicked him out for like looking for drugs when like g dragon like he had a whole scan a marijuana scandal because that's what korea does and they didn't kick him out well it was top it was both of them both of them oh but that's that's what made me so so heated about Hanbin is that it was like you had other idols in your company that did the same thing, but yet you're kicking the young one out. Like Let's I just, just I, I just feel like YG was scared of Hanbin. <laughs> Why? Because he was like too good? Yeah. I mean, look at him now. I know. I mean that's uh wholly possible because he's probably a better producer than Teddy, so True! Fuck Teddy, dude. <laughs> Fuck Teddy. <laughs> okay, so I think we should move on to the next topic. There was one more I wanted to talk about. Oh. Or a couple more that I wanted to talk about. Not related to idols, though. Ooh. Does anybody remember? Um, Sorry, I have cookie butter in my teeth. <laughs> um, does anybody remember about um the, the lawsuit with um the former member of glam and how she blackmailed high prominent actor oh yeah and she that went to jail that one was fucking crazy right yeah that bitch went to jail <laughs> but she's back she now. out now mm-hmm. she's back and she's still doing stuff really mm-hmm. she she's not blacklisted she's... yeah i would say wouldn't she be blacklisted from the industry she's industries? um doing stuff on youtube who oh. was the actor that she blackmailed it was a huge name E. byung han Mm-hmm. Oh, Byung-hyun. Ah. Uh-huh. Do you remember that when that came out? That Dude, that came out wild. and I read it. I can't, that came out. I read is it. That why, like, is that why Big Hit almost went bankrupt? Because <laughs> Glam was a big hit group. That, that was the reason why they didn't come out with girl groups afterwards. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why you don't see a girl group under Big Hit. Right. You see, a, that's why now, now that they've acquired Pletus and Source, that's why we have girl groups under Hive. Like, they're not going to be associated with the big hit name, but they're going to be in the entity that it holds big hit now. Because I don't think big hit wants to try girl groups after that ever again. They're like, there, there's another company who can do girl groups better. <laughs> and it's not going to be us. And they realize mm-hmm. that. So, and it was just at the time, um, 
Lee Byung Hun. Like, if you don't know him, he is the game maker in Squid Game. <laughs> he is, uh, who is he in GI Joe? Uh, he was in the GI Joe movies here in America. You you'd probably recognize his face. Um, here and there. He's a very prominent actor in Korea and he has stepped his foot into Hollywood too. And then at the time he was also, he just got married to uh, another big actress. And I think around that time they just announced their pregnancy too. And God, it was what a bitch. Like, she wanted to burn him down for some, did he like turn her down or something? I don't know. Cause like, why the fuck was she just trying to ruin his life? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, who knows? People have different motives. And I was just like, I remember when that was going around. And sure, like, like it, like it's more in relation to him. But it, the fact that it was a K-pop idol doing it to, to this prominent actor. And it was just like, what? What? I mean, we know that a lot of people have skeletons in their closets. Like, we can't, you know, hey, whatever you do behind the scenes, that's what you do. I'm not going to judge, but I was just like, the fact that this was coming to the forefront was crazy at the time. And another one I wanted to bring up, does any rem- anyone remember what happened to Tiara? <laughs> Were lawsuits involved with that? or Because I just know it was like a huge bullying issue. Well, bullying that led to like the termination of contracts and also just wild shit happening. And now you're like, what is going on? But happy for Jian. Jian's married and her wedding photos are really cute. <laughs> like, I'm just like, yo, these things have happened. 